Hi, this is TJ Singh, your product specialist with ENM. In this video, we will be doing a quick installation of the new 2FG7 on robot gripper. Now, based on your requirements for your application, you will need certain components. In my case, I have a quick changer, a compute box, and the gripper itself. Let's start with the installation now. All right, once you have the gripper mounted on the cobot, go to your control box and connect your compute box with it. Also insert the pen drive that you got from OnRobot and make sure your dip switch 3 is set to fix IP. Now go to the software of the Techman, which is TM Flow, where I am right now. Here, get control. Once you're in the software, go to the system and go to import and export. Here, we will import all the components from the pen drive. Select on robot, press OK. Select the component on the left side of the tree and based on what gripper you have, select the correct component. In my case, I need config, get parameters and grip since they are for the 2FG7 grip. Once you import the files, you can go back and open up the menu, go to settings. Here, you can actually select components and add all these three components you just added in your programming window itself. After you press save, go back. Since we have already added the gripper, now let's create a test project. Select project and create a new testing project let's name it testing one two all right this is the programming window in my case you will see here i'll set one point where i want the robot to move at and then i will make it to go to a different location and here i will make the gripper move in two different directions and as you can see on the left side of this tree, you have these three components already added. Let's drag the gripper function. And as soon as you bring it here, you have the option to edit it. Now, these are the four options with which you can change the configuration. Grip type allows you to select internal or external grip. Zero basically means that you have an external grip, which is what I want. And then you select target width, which basically is how much your grip. Once you go in edit, for a standard gripper with the silicon padding on it, you can actually go from, from 32 to 69 for an outward orientation of the fingers. So I'll go to 33. And after I select an OK, I also have two more options. I can select the target force, which is be between 20 to 140 Newtons. And I can also select a target speed, which you basically can do between 10 to 100%. Right now I'm at 50%. This basically allows you to control speed, force, and width of your gripper. All right, since I know I'm not going to grip anything, so I will select no grip and add the gripper function again. This is just to basically test it. So for this, now I'll 
extend the fingers outwards more and I will go to let's say 68 millimeters after I do the okay here I don't want to change anything else just do the okay since I know that again I will not grip anything so I will obviously select no grip and I will put it in a loop so that I can keep playing this again and again after this you can just run your program by pressing the play button on the robot stick so you just saw how it was moving very smoothly you also will see you have two more components this component allows you to get some information from your gripper and the other component allows you to set the configuration if you change the fingers of the gripper thank you for watching the video if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me on the email provided on the screen. Thank you.